welcome. Today I thought I would seek a little wisdom, a little oracle wisdom, and pull a card to see what message it might give us for today. And so I shuffled the deck and the card that came up was seek an expert. Seek an expert. And you know what? It's actually perfect timing for this card. This is a card that's good for always and forever, right? Because uh, the gist of the whole card is that it's very hard to create transformation and change in your life when you're stuck in your own mind in that ego section of the mind. So we're going to talk about this card of seek an expert because there are people out there who can help you. And you know what? They don't have to be an expert. It could be a friend, a family member. So stick around and see what has that what wants to come through with this card today. If you're new to my channel, I'm Linda Armstrong. And you know, the card I mentioned was Seek an Expert. So, um, it's weird because I, I didn't want this to be a promo. I just picked a card. But Seeking an Expert, like I'm an expert at what I do. I have the ability to tap in and find out like the root causes under the surface that are creating a lot of this reality that you do not want. Because consciously we know we're, what we want to manifest and we're working on those things and we're setting things in place. But if you don't handle those things that are putting the brakes on it, which are all energetic, um, then it's really a struggle to move forward instead of it being an easy manifesting process because of course we are the creators. I did a video recently about, you know, it was basically, I'm God, you're God, we're all God and we're all creators and we all have the ability to really um, manifest what we want in our life. So I like this card because I, I mean, I had to do this for myself. As, as much as I'm able to help other people, I can't always find my own root because it's hidden in the subconscious and I can do lots of clearings and I'll have some relief, but then it pops up again. I'm like, okay, why is this popping up again? Cause obviously I didn't sort out what's really going on for me because it's just a little too hard to see your own stuff. Sometimes when things get really bad and something so obvious hits you and you're like, wow, and you get it, right? But that doesn't always happen. And who wants to wait until things are that bad that you that you have to have this divine intervention to sort yourself out? We can sort ourselves out much sooner. So you can see people like me, I'm an energy healer, awakening coach. And during this process of awakening, we're bringing up so much stuff and we don't always know what the heck it is because we don't know for sure where it came from. Like you may not consciously know of an experience that you can recall in this lifetime that could have anything to do with why this problem is in your life. But when we dig in, we get to some root causes that may have occurred in some other lifetime, but it's being triggered now. So that's why, you know, energy healing is great. So if you have an energy healer that you love, Go to that person, seek their expert advice, have them help you to tap in to those places you weren't able to tap in for yourself. So I think I was starting to say, you know, I have to do that too. I have to go to my own coach. So that person, she can see more clearly what it is that I am, that there are programs running in my subconscious that won't allow me to see it. So we wanna get clear of all those things, but I'm gonna read for you um, the description from this card, exactly what it says, and you take it however you want. Um, I just told you what I feel this card is all about. So it says, and this is a cool deck, The Answer is Simple by Sonia Choquette. So it says, the answer is simple, seek an expert. The ego loves to struggle through problems on its own, refusing to seek the support and advice expertise of others. Yes, I've done videos on that, ego versus the soul. You know, when you're in that soul space, you're totally in your heart, you're connected to spirit, you're receiving this inner guidance that is true. When you're stuck in that ego mind, in that subconscious thinking, in that mental chatter, if you listen to it, and we can easily start listening to it, 
like, oh my God, you know, why am I thinking these thoughts? These thoughts do not support me. So just a little off, I'll get back to reading this. But one thing that I know I like to do is, and it's one of the seven tips I always share, cancel that. So when these thoughts come in and you're consciously aware of this thought that popped in, you're like, that's not what I want. It's like the complete opposite of what I want. So you just say, cancel that. Uh-uh, not going there. <laughs> I choose to listen to my heart and to follow guidance from spirit. Because guidance from spirit, following your heart always feels good. There's always this feeling of knowing that you're going to reach the solution. Um, so, so yeah. Anyway, let me get back to the card. You really got to get out of that ego mental chatter. Oh, cancel that is what I was talking about, right? So cancel that. And another thing I like to do too is, so say you're, Say you're helping someone else or not even helping someone. You just happen to be maybe at a family gathering and they're talking about this situation. And sometimes it could even be a little close to home because maybe it's within your own family. But you have to state in your mind or even out loud, then nobody has to hear it. This is not my reality. Because we can easily take on other people's pains because we're, naturally we're all healers. We all want to help each other out. We all, we're all connected. We're all one. So when something's presenting and is starting to bring, you can feel your energy dipping and it could just be because you're so empathic for that person, but the, you gotta be careful, you could be taking that energy on. So a quick little tip is you just wanna say, this is not my reality. And just keep sending them love and just know this is not my reality, something that they've created in their life and all I can do is send them love to support them. Okay, uh, didn't mean to go off like that. So. It continues to say, talking about the ego, it likes to be in control and views soliciting assistance as a weakness that it doesn't want to indulge in. So a lot of people feel that way. They're afraid to really say what's on their mind because they don't want to appear weak. But you know what? You're going through something. Get help. There's help out there for you in so many different ways. Okay, so it says, yet if you have a toothache, you wouldn't attempt to fix your own tooth. You would see a dentist, right? Um, if you hurt your back, you would visit a doctor or a chiropractor, or or would you just suffer through the pain? Like, what would you do? Most likely, you're going to go to a chiropractor. Uh, and, and again, probably you might wait till it gets bad enough that you like have to go to the chiropractor. Really, you want to do maintenance. So that, you know, energy healing, everything starts in the energy field before it ever even enters the body. All disease starts first in the energy field. So you want to keep your energy clear and flowing. Um, so, you know, energy healing is the way to do it. So anyway, it says, if your car broke down, would you call for a tow truck or push the vehicle to your destination? Not likely. Okay. The spirit freely seeks support and assistance of others when help is called for without hesitation or judgment. This not only makes life easier, it also allows others to share their light with you. Ah, that's really good too, because you don't even realize that sometimes by talking about your problem to someone else, um, and they get the opportunity to uplift you and help you in some way, it uplifts them too. And I know this for a fact, because I know everyone I work with, no matter what the thing is that's going on with them in their life, I always learn something. I always feel uplifted. I always, I, I feel like I also receive the healing that they're doing because of course we're all one, we're all connected. If something shows up in your reality, you played a part in it. Even as if it's a stranger, it shows up in your reality, there's something there for you. So when you get the opportunity to help someone else and uplift them, it also uplifts you. You're also clearing things from you that you might not even no, or you won't even think this is anything similar to you because you're like, I've never had that problem, but let me help them with that problem. Somewhere in your field is something that energetically is linking up. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing. Just energetically, it's bringing about the same energy. So really, it's true. This is really true. By asking someone for help, they're helping you, but they're also helping themselves. But by So by you asking someone else for help, you're also helping that person who's helping you. This is great. I didn't expect this to come out of this card today, but I'm loving it. 
All right, so it says also, okay, right now you're at the limit of your own expertise and could use some aid. So I'm assuming if somebody happened to see this video, this is speaking to you or you would not land on this, on this video for today. So it says, seek the input of an expert, someone who is able to offer you knowledge that you don't readily possess for yourself. It can be an advisor, a counselor, a teacher, a guide, or even, even your partner. Don't allow the false pride of the ego to subject you to suffering through the present when with a little help, you can sail through the choppy waters of these times with grace. Great message. I love it. I feel like um, if I forget this, I'm going to have to dig up my own video and read it or find the card and read it again because this is so true. You don't have to suffer in silence. Get help. There's help out there. And it doesn't have to be a professional like myself. It could be anyone. Just open yourself up. Open your heart because that's what it's all about. We're all here to live love. I mean, that's why I call my my everything I do love my life dot coach. This is what we want to do, right? To live through love and to love your life. And a great way of loving your life is helping others. Right? So even asking for help, I love how somehow that message is coming through. Oh yeah, the card actually said it up, right? That um that person is also lifting higher as they uplift you they're lifting higher and any similarities within there that may not be at all conscious are also being cleared so help yourself because as you help yourself you're also helping someone else and i guess i'm harping on this because a lot of people just want to help others and they put themselves last they think oh i can handle this or you know i'll get through it you know they have to that's just that ego talking right that thinks it knows all the answers but if it knew all the answers you wouldn't have the problem, would you? <laughs> there we go. That's a good one. I'll leave you with that. So I would love you to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe so that you get more videos like this from me and um, maybe hit the bell so you'll know when the new videos come out. So I'll see you again on another video. Bye for now.